Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, this is a part two to the other video of my gaming collection. This is the shooting games I got. Um, um, there's a stack right there in front of me. And I'll um, go ahead, comment down below, subscribe, because I need some more subscribers, so please do it if you want more content like this. Um, and hit that thumbs up button and let's get into it. I'll start with this game right down here first. This is Conflict Desert Storm. This game is like a 3D shooting game. So it's a pretty good game for its time. Um, I played it a little bit. It's kind of like Call of Duty, but the like less good version or whatever. It's by Gotham. Gotham Games, so I think they made, like, um, the Burnout series or something like that, or some type of racing series thing, if I'm not mistaken. They made a racing game or whatever after Gotham Games, so something like that. But, um, you can see there's a little bit there, the f back of it, and this is a two-player game. So, I recommend you guys picking this up. I only picked it up for $3, so it's worth a little bit more than what I paid for it, obviously. And this is a good game. I heard there's going to be like a um, remake of this movie or whatever. The the Matrix Path of Neo. I heard there's going to be like a re remake of this movie or whatever. Because this video game is based, on the, based off the movie. And you can see it's by, made by Avatar. Or, I mean, not Avatar, but Atari. I don't know why I said Avatar. I just looked at it and said Avatar. But it's Atari. And this game is like a shooting game, and you're like a spy. I've never watched a movie, so... Um, but you can see it's a one-player game. Um, I've never personally played this game, so... It's, it's something new to try, so... Now, this game I played growing up, and it was a good game. 2000... First Contact, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon 2. This game was a pretty good game. And stuff. It was a 2D shoot. Or it was a um, first person shooter. So. Um, when I say 3D shooter. I meant third person shooter. But anyways. This is a one player game also. Um, this game I played a lot of. And the mission's. Are pretty easy when you first start and stuff, but right as you like get into it, it kind of gets a little bit difficult from there. But I ended up having to do like the missions twice to to end up getting it and stuff on the first try. And normally you're like that whenever you play your first game, it'll take you like a few tries to actually pass to the mission or the level. The next one we have is Rebel Raiders, Operation Night Squat Nighthawk. My bad. It's a one-player game. It's an arcade combat game. Um, but, like, you're in the air and you're shooting other opponents and stuff. So, like, you got, like, targets and missiles on, missile launchers on your um, jets and planes and stuff. And it's pretty cool and stuff. And then you got, like, take out the other comp uh, opponent. So, that's pretty cool. And then I got Medal of Honor Frontline, which I think they had a Medal of Honor game for the um, Pressure 1, if I'm not mistaken. There's, and I think I have it. This is also a Player 1 game. But um, it's almost just like that other game, Ghost Recon or Desert Storm or whatever. But they're almost all the same, but this is by EA, EA Games. They're the same people that made EA Sports. So, in matter of fact, I'll get to that in another video. Um, about I'll do like a part three on sports next. So, that'd be pretty cool to do. Stay tuned in for that. And this is Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. I played the third one, but I didn't play the second one or whatever. So, and this one, you got like... There are other, other opponents that, like, other players or other people that are in the game. 
um, other characters that are, like, after you and stuff. And, like, they're hiding at every corner and stuff. So, um, like, you got to watch your back and stuff. And then, like, you got to watch. And they could be, like, just sitting around the corner waiting for you. Waiting to kill you. And then you don't even realize it. And it's kind of sneaky. You got to be sneaky about it. You got to watch your back. And then Full Spectrum Warrior 10 Hammers. This game's a really cool little cheap $2 game. As you can see, it has an NFL sticker on it, even though it ain't NFL. This is also a one-player game. Most of your shooting games that were for the PlayStation 1 were mostly um, one-player games back at that time. Um, except for, I think, like Call of Duty, but even then, Call of Duty was... Um, even in Call of Duty was like that, player one player game. But see, you're like in the army and you're gonna take down other people and stuff. And then there'll be like this wall that keeps you from like going to the other side and stuff. And you gotta like hide behind stuff and stuff. You're in the military and you're doing like actual realistic combat. He even says that. So that's pretty cool. You're in the military. Then there's 24 of the game. I think it's from like a movie. It's also a one player game. But I think it's from like a movie if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is also like when you blow up cars. You're like um, working for like the FBI or something. Or, or something like that. You're like an agent. So Agent Jack... Agent Jack Buer, if I'm not mistaken. That's who the, the agent is that you're playing as. So if you did not know that, that's his name. G Grand Theft Auto Vice City. If you guys want, I could do a Let's Play of this next because um, I did um, recently, a month ago or so, I did a um, little eight-minute video um, Let's Play of uh, San Andreas where I pretty much drove around and stuff. I didn't really do the mission I was going to, but I hadn't played that game in a long time, so I didn't really know where I was actually supposed to be going, so, um, my mistakes for that being a short video for that, but, um, if I do make this video, I'll make it, or I'll, if I do a Let's Play, I'll make it a longer video, and I'll actually be doing the missions in this game, so stay tuned in for that. Oh, wait, there's some more stuff. And there's actually Easter eggs in this game, so I'm not going to spoil it on where they're at, because I'm going to do like a Let's Play and show you guys physically where the Easter eggs are at. But um, that will be like a whole nother video for me to do, so no spoiler alert, but it's a one-player game, as like all the Grand Theft Autos are. Now, if you didn't know this, San Andreas is actually a PlayStation, or it is it's a PlayStation 2 game, but it's a um, two-player game. And a lot of pl people that have played it didn't even know that. A lot of people till this day don't even know that Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was a PlayStation 2, or I mean, was a Player 2 game. So, in this game, you can't walk on water, which sucks. You're just drowned. So, now there is a cheat where you could f drive on top of water, though. Just like, just like I think you can in GTA 3. So... And there's Call of Duty Finest Hour. So this is like the first. This is like the first um, Call of Duty game on the PlayStation 2. Which is. I picked it up for $2. So it's a pretty good game. You're playing like against. the United. You'll be like in the United States. You'll pick the United States. And then you'll be fighting against like. Um, the UK or whatever. Like British um, Empire or whatever. The British um, army or whatever. And then you'll be fighting for like all the other armies like China and stuff. So it's pretty cool. You'll, you'll be like going against them. Like a actually like, wh like what we'd be doing if we actually went to war with one of these countries or something. That's like how cool it is. Bad Boys Miami Takedown. This is a good um, game. I think it's also a movie too with like... Um, the guy that played on um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, I can't remember his name, but he he plays in there and he's right there, so he's the one on the right. So, um, yeah. 
Um, this game I don't know too much about, but I do know you're working for like the police or something, or you're running from the police. So all, that's pretty much all I know about that game, really. But that does have the character from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And little thing, little thing that you guys probably didn't know about that. He also played um, on TV. He played um, on that AFV's America's Funniest Videos. He ended up taking over that um, thing because that other guy ended up um, not wanting to do the show anymore. So this guy took over. Now this is Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Now this game, I actually do got to show you guys this. If I can open it up with one hand. I know, I know it has the thing in it, but it has a map, and these are the things that I, well, you, there's, there's part of the map, I'm not going to show that, just because I don't want to spoil that, I'm going to make a whole separate video on the maps and stuff for the Grand Theft Autos, because I have like all the maps for all my Grand Theft Autos, except for the San Andreas one, I believe, and except for the, um, GTA 5 one, but I think I have the one for the, for the, um, GTA 4, 3, and GTA Vice City, and I think those are, like, the only ones I have maps for, and Liberty City Stories, but this, believe it or not, this is Grand Theft Auto GTA 3, which is also known as Liberty City, now, Liberty City Stories took place um, GTA 3 came out in 2001, but G GTA Liberty City Stories came out, um, it's an expansion pack of GTA 3. It didn't come out until, until like 2006, and it's also by Rockstar Games. And they made like all the really good Grand Theft Auto games, so, and, um, so like, it, so, but the thing is, it came out after GTA 3 came out, but the thing is, it takes place, GTA San Andreas, or I mean, GTA, um, Liberty City Stories, doesn't take place, before, it takes place before GTA 3, so I think GTA 3 came out in like the 90s, ish, so, and like the, it came out like in the, early 2000s and GTA Liberty City stories came out a little bit before that so it's supposed to tell you like stuff about the, it's supposed to be like before the thing so it's, it's a storyline that happened before GTA 3 even happened so it tells you all about it so it's pretty cool that they did that there's God of War that's pretty much it with that I don't have no cover art on it so and this game I actually don't know what's in here it's Alice, Alice, Alice. I, I don't. I'm I'm puncturing the name. This game. Also, don't know. I don't know anything about this game. I didn't even know if there was a game even in this case, honestly. So, um, I don't know anything about that game, so I couldn't tell you guys anything about it. Now, there's Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball Maxed. I've only paid a dollar for it, and it's a two-player game. Um, see, you could play as real players, you could play, um, real gear, you can hide behind stuff. If you didn't know, paintball is kind of like, it's just like shooting, but it's kind of like, um, laser tag, but with paintball and stuff. So it's pretty cool. And I, I think they made a remake of Greg Hastings. I think they made it like on a PlayStation 4 or something like that. If I'm not mistaken, they made a remake of that one. And then the Getaway. This game is like the cheaper version of Grand Theft Auto, but the thing is, it just really, really sucks and stuff. Um, the cars suck. Like, if you hit another car, they literally, they don't blow up, but they don't look like they've been damaged, like as in Grand Theft Auto does. Like, the door doesn't come off. It just, they take so long to blow up or whatever. Um, and it is kind of repetitive game in a way. I played it a little bit and I didn't really like it. I'd rather pick Grand Theft Auto over this game. 
which just came out around the same time as Grand Theft Auto 3 did. So, and this wasn't really that good of a game. So, and the thing is the controls were like in, um, foreign kind of, they were like in, um, English, not in English, but you know what I mean? They were like in UK or something from England or something like they were. And I think the game takes place in England, if I'm not mistaken. But SOCOM 2, U.S. Navy SEAL, is a pretty good game. I, I don't think I had the first one. I don't think I do. But um, this is another uh, 2D two-person shooter. So 2D shooter, two-person shooter, whatever. And then Call of Duty 2, Big Red 1. This one was my favorite one. Because this one, you like, you start off walking, like you walk, and then um, you're supposed to meet these guys somewhere, and they all start moving further on in the game, and they tell you, like, where to go and stuff, and stuff like that, and you gotta hide behind stuff, and, like, the game is actually real easy to beat and stuff, for it being, like, the second Call of Duty and stuff, it was honestly real easy to, like, play and stuff like it was real easy like you could almost end up beating the game all at once so it, i think i ended up beating it i'm not for sure but it was a pretty good game spy hunter is like where you're um you're a spy and you're hunting for um other people and stuff and you're hunting for these criminals and stuff like they'll be on like a motorcycle or dirt bikes and you gotta try to shoot them and stuff and all that. And cars will like catch on fire and stuff. So, and they will literally blow up right in front of you. So you gotta like, you can't have your car too close to where the car is gonna blow up on you. And it's just a whole thing like that. But you got like guns on your car. You get like a um, sports car with like guns on it and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Then this is GTA San Andreas. I did a Let's Play on that, so I might do another Let's Play on it and do, like, the missions and stuff. So um, I might play it a little bit before to get used to the missions, and then I'll redo the mission to, like, for a video or something. Because, honestly, I couldn't I couldn't figure out where I was supposed to go when I did that, when I was going to do the mission and the Let's Play. So, But this is, honestly, a two-player game, so if anybody didn't know that, and I'm literally not lying to you. It's two player right there. You just can't see it. So, because it's not focusing that good, my my phone's crappy, and I'm and I'm trying to get some subscribers so I can get a camera for Christmas and stuff, and start doing better videos. You know, I mean, to where they're not blurry and crap. Because this phone is literally like a cheap, um, Walmart phone. So. Yeah, I need a computer for editing, so I gotta save up money for that. Deer Hunter, which a lot of people like this, this is for the Atari. They honestly had this on, um, I think they didn't just have it for the PlayStation. I think they had Deer Hunter, like, um, for an arcade game, I believe. They had, like, a deer hunting game. So, that's pretty cool. You hunt, like, elk, deer. You could use a crossbow. You can go on, like, a jet ski or a four-wheeler. And drive around and then shoot people or shoot um I said shoot people <laughs> I'm thinking of Grand Theft Auto still but this is a two player game but like you could road ride on a um snowmobile or a four wheeler or a dirt bike or whatever and you could like scope out your prey and stuff and then shoot them and then you could hit them you could shoot them like with a crossbow a gun a rifle and stuff like that. A 22 rifle. Stuff like that. So, it's pretty cool. And you can, like, pick your guns. Like, what guns you want. And then you can, like, upgrade. And then buy more. Once you, once you, and then you get, like, points. And money for actually killing them. So, it's pretty cool. Um, then there's Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Pandora Tomorrow. This game is just like the other game. But, like, you're... You're fighting bad guys and stuff, and there's people hiding in the woods and just hiding behind trees, and 
people always hiding and then you gotta take out like guards security guards and stuff so it's pretty cool um it's pretty easy to play and stuff so i recommend somebody picking this up i picked it up for 92 cents so less than a dollar so red faction 2 i don't know anything about this game because i ended up getting it for um christmas last christmas and there is so many games I got. I don't. I've never like some of these games. I've never really played. So um, so some of these games I can't tell you anything about them. But like I could tell you like a little bit like about what the game's gonna be like. Like whether it's gonna be a shooting game or a hunting game or whatever. I could tell you a little stuff like that. But personally, I can't tell you much about a game, especially if I don't play. If I haven't played it, you know what I mean. I couldn't just lie and make up a bunch of stuff. So, I just can't do that. So, that'd be wrong. And stuff. So, I don't I don't give out bad information or wrong information, just so you guys know. So, Toric, I believe. Yeah, it's Toric. Toric. Toroc. Evolution. This is a game you got, like, these, like, weird dinosaurs and stuff. It's almost like Jurassic Park, but you're, but you're like shooting them and they're like alienated like monsters and stuff. And you gotta like shoot them and stuff. So before they like try to kill you and stuff, they'll like be birds and they'll like fly after you. And it'll be like a pterodactyl, um, a Tyrannosaurus or whatever. But they'll be like alienated. So they'll be like like a monster thing so and they're like attacking you and stuff so you got to shoot them and stuff and then there's brothers brothers in arms road to hill 30 so if you want to pick that up for a dollar 99 so and it says it's based on a true story so that's good the night before D Day, nineteen forty-four, the paratroopers of the one hundred and one airborne divisions are dropped into Normandy, Normandy, and scattered behind enemies' lines. As Sergeant Matt Baker lead your squad through eight hurrying days that will define history and, tip and unite you forever as brothers in arms. And it's and, and that's really surprising because honestly, this is a um, one to four player game, and normally, like I said, shooting games for the PlayStation Two are they're most of the time going to be a PlayStation 1, or I mean, they're going to be mostly a player 1 game, especially like the older Call of Duties and stuff like that for the PlayStation 2. Um, and just shooting games in general for the PlayStation 2 will mostly, most of the time, be a PlayStation 1 game. Um, thank you guys for watching my video. Like, like this video, hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, um, which game you think was your favorite game and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.